All right, guys, welcome back to <laughs> us. Video Games Awesome. You guys remember? Yeah, now I am. Have you guys, <laughs> did you guys ever meet Don? I don't know. He has like shaved so. hair on the sides and like mohawk. Oh, nice. This is a, good stuff. They're a small studio based out of Seattle. Don is insane. You would love him if you met him. You should have by now. I'm sad that you didn't. He's the permanent CEO. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, full steam. Fucking bananas. And... Yes. Boom. Look at that. Thank you, guys. Thank you. And thank you so much for coming to our little shindig here at the Dave Lang Memorial Theater. <laughs> <laughs> what an so event, am I right? Big deal. Heckin' big deal. And give it all the way up for the expo, everybody. And... <laughs> yes! Look at that! That's all you. You're killing it. Killing it. And you know what? So are we. So are we. Lots of changes at Devolver since the last time we were here. Lots of changes. Lots of progress. <laughs> Synergies aligned. Efficiencies modulated. New management in a bold new direction. And we couldn't have done any of that without all of you. We've stepped it up, you guys. Stepped it all the way. We've examined the industry and our place in it. We've worked hard to widen our excellence perimeter, engender fiscal aptitude, That's pretty and re-intermediate intuitive strategies to promote cutting edge, principle-centered, future-tested, high-impact, end-to-end model <laughs> mental alignment in the center sphere with a total Linkage methodology concentration on our player base. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, good. I think what we've come up with is pretty exciting. <laughs> we all know what's coming. I can't keep it a secret from you any longer. <laughs> guys, I am so excited to debut right here on this very stage, Devolver Digital's first foray into the Battle Royale play space. Battle Royale F3W. Yeah. 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 A play space that we believe is the future's future. Shut your mouth, you miserable piece of human garbage! Shit! Oh. Let's get this nonsense started. I love her. She just snapped the neck of the last CEO. I read on the internet this one time. Permanent? That some of you had some proper shit to say about our press conference last year. Yeah. That it wasn't professional, that it didn't feel like a real video games conference by a real video games publisher, what publishes real video games. What publishes? That it was all some kind of joke. Joke. <laughs> well, you were super wrong. And to prove it, we have ramped up this year's Jiminy Thinger to include everything that you might expect from a production of this magnitude. This year, we have overly flashy graphics to distract you from mundane dialogue. <laughs> Guest appearances from personalities that you can recognize and project some misplaced familiarity onto because you have seen them in videos on the internet and whose appearance will serve to light up a predictable nostalgia response and it is 2018 and that is how marketing is done now. We also have this little guy thinking like he's playing a new game on the screen despite it clearly being a pre-scripted sequence meticulously planned out and pre-recorded months Jeffrey. in advance. But what stood out most of all, what really stood out 
in the flaming trash pile idiot island in the unending ocean of unrequested feedback from last year's <laughs> press conference was that you, simpletons, yes, you, you stinking bug fuck shit minions, seem to think that we didn't provide enough new games reveals first looks, or whatever else you think might have made your dumb little life a little less pointless in that one moment on the internet that one time. And that... Oh, she hurts my feet. That hit us right in the feels. So this year, we are bringing you those new games, those first looks, those reveals for projects that you never thought possible. The first is from Game Pirates. It is their Supermax Survival Sim Scum. You should buy it. It is going to make us huge numbers. It's probably pretty great, but I won't know because I do not play any of this garbage. <laughs> Roll the garbage! <laughs> Roll the garbage. So this is actually a game. This is a real game. Scum Season 2 is gearing up with Tech One's most violent defenders on display in our award-winning survival broadcast. With over three times as many drones, viewers will enjoy the contestants' most intimate moments. New weapons and gear elevate the action, but it's the trademark paranoia that drives the savagery to new heights, making scum a thrill for the entire family. Fear not, Tech One Security is on site to keep contestants in line. Oh my. And of course, fan favorite Mr. Smiles is back again for rule enforcement. Scum, welcome to the next era in Supermax survival. Contestant corpses will be reused in scum for government regulations. Well, that looks like a hell of a lot of fun for the kids, am I right? Scumgame.com for more information, or don't. I get paid either way. Up next, we have Devolver Digital's newest bleeding edge technology innovation. Loot boxes. <laughs> loot boxes have made headlines over the past year, and you, the moronic gobbling maw of consumer idiocy that you are, have shown little to no regret in just plain dumping your money into this deeply insulting monetization model. At the same time, in parallel, it seems we have seen <laughs> cryptocurrencies roll in and jack punch the global socioeconomic landscape right in the sweetness, creating <laughs> An entirely new culture of massively unqualified financial experts with absolutely no idea what the shit they are talking about. <laughs> if there is one thing at Devolver Digital that we love, it is talking confidently about important issues we are completely ignorant about and then fleecing fat stacks of cash out of an uninformed marketplace <laughs> that really should know better. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, so I am thrilled so to introduce you to our newest product, Loot Box Coin. <laughs> Get one in on the ground floor. Is the world's first cryptocurrency yeah, I do. that is so fucking secure, <laughs> not even the owners know its actual value. <laughs> totally unregulated and absent of all civil, governmental, <laughs> international, They're actually selling personal, it. No, or really? institutional yeah. liability. It changes value like Loot every Boxcoin minute. Loot aims <laughs> to become the global standard the in meaningless wealth acquisition and questionable financial stability. <laughs> Loot Boxcoin <laughs> cannot be mined, cannot be opened, cannot be blockchained, cannot be walleted or crypto verified. It can only be bought through Devolver Digital with real actual money you have in your actual bank account. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> On purchase, 
one of our hastily trained economists will create and send you an actual it's physical out now. loot box coin right. just like the one I'm holding right here in my motherfucking hand. <laughs> what is it worth? I don't know. What can you buy with it? Probably nothing. Does the U.S. government consider it a form of gambling? Fuck! If I can, the loot box coin is available now on the Devolver Digital Online Store for a price it changes every hour on the hour for no discernible reason. Don't believe me? Well, go fire up a browser and check it out. <laughs> <laughs> We have a game that some of you may have seen on the socials by a hilariously violent gifs from developer Dead Toast. It's pronounced and GIFs. <laughs> Pardon me? Yeah, GIFs. You say GIFs. It's an acronym. Acronym's pronunciation is determined by the creator of the said acronym, like a proper name. In this case, the creator of the graphics interchange format, Steve Wilhite, says it's GIFs. Choosy developers choose GIFs. <laughs> anyway, here's my friend Pedro. Oh my god! I've never been particularly fond of violence, but these are bad people. Bad people that need to be stopped. So let's get crazy. Let's get weird. Let's get, well, bananas. Like we put Devolver at the end as like this joke thing, but this, this is fresh. <laughs> John Wick, but better, it's equilibrium. It's Gunkata from Equilibrium, yeah, yeah. for sure. <laughs> I don't know how to do this good. I want to be this good. <laughs> to be that he's a ballerina dancer. The past few years, Guy. we have seen a new Jeffrey. trend he's in gaming hardware. <laughs> Companies reaching deep into their back catalogs to construct cute as fuck little miniature fun size versions of their <laughs> legacy hardware overflowing with classic games of yesteryear asking you to pay a ridiculous premium <laughs> for games that you owned 20 years ago and will be utterly disappointed by playing again today somehow you all are buying these things up in mass. You are paying triple sticker price to some creep selling them out of the back of his car next to a dumpster out behind Taco Bell. And not the nice Taco Bell, but the sketchy one that sells fried chicken and pizza and always smells faintly of a mop bucket filled with purple drink and puke. You love these little nostalgic cash grabs and we have no fucking idea why. <laughs> but who are we to pass up on this unique opportunity to separate you <laughs> from your money? <laughs> Margaret. She's always so happy to help. I would like you to meet the Devolver Digital Entertainment System. <laughs> what does she need a ladder? <laughs> it's so soft. <laughs> I didn't get the ladder joke before. That's great. This adorable box 
of plastic and nostalgia comes preloaded with 25 of your favorite classic Devolver games. Jeffrey. Yes, mother. Drop that <laughs> super legit live demo game controller and come on up here. Show these people the magic that is the Devolver Digital Entertainment System Classic. The Devolver Digital Entertainment System Classic packs an SFPGA processor by Swedish manufacturer Lockhead AB. Um, this is a Sega Dreamcast. Shut up, Jeffrey. <laughs> Rocking. <laughs> hey. We painted a Sega Dreamcast. Just putting it out there. Look, these aren't even plugged into anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Metal Wolf Chaos disc that was only released on the Xbox. It's not even a Devolver game. And it's Japanese and not real, also. So. <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Now it is time for our last game reveal of the evening. I know, I know. But this one, this one will really get the blood flow into your nethers. It is 2004. I am taking you on a journey to 2004. Our good friends at From Software released a game that unbeknownst to them would lay the very foundation for the modern American political landscape. This, <laughs> this game, this motherfucking <laughs> legendary piece of cold world amazing was forged in the most sacred elements of video game development. Mechs, explosions, and overly dramatic voice acting. Ladies I love that he just woke up and now he's like so and I love this older woman. <laughs> May I present to you yes. 2004 Masterclass in Democratic Mech Warfare Metal Wolf Chaos! <laughs> This is a real game that was made by From Software before they made before they made Dark Souls, in which the president Let's party! the president is a mechanical eagle. Welcome to the White House. <laughs> I never knew about this. Richard! <laughs> so America. That's <laughs> made by a Japanese developer. The American president defends himself as an eagle mech. Mech America. Mech America great again. <laughs> It's got English voice acting, but was never really set aside of Japan. <laughs> Despite having English voice acting. Look. 
God damn it. Shark, starting to roll. Yeah, nice. Shit. Let me see. Bring in the LED. Lock it down. <laughs> Baby. She's on. You guys watched Robocop? We were able to save her heart. What? I thought we agreed on total body prosthesis. Now lose the heart. They're done. Jesus. Did you hear me? Doesn't matter if we're gonna wait for anyway. Alright. Yeah, lose the heart. On it. You're gonna be one bad motherfucker. <laughs> Shut her down. We get the best of both worlds. The fastest reflexes modern technology has to offer. On board, computer assisted memory, and a lifetime of Devolver Digital Executive Program. It is my great pleasure to introduce to you Amina Motherfucking Struthers. I have to reiterate to the audience that I may be unable to be. Um, Impartial when it comes to <laughs> like judging Devolver Digital, mm, mm. we like Don a lot. We've met him in person. He's a very cool guy. And I've got a lady boner for Nina. I've met. Oh, who doesn't? We've met Nina in real life, <laughs> and we love her. <laughs> and we follow her on Twitter <laughs> and Facebook. We love her oh, marriage and her and her partner, her life partner. <laughs> her, <laughs> Same, the entire same. thing is one beautiful picture, and we just love subscribing to it. Awesome. <laughs> so we are not the people to watch yeah, for objective know. opinions on it yeah. because if it's unfunny, we wouldn't know at this point. We did that's mean that's our fault. Yeah, I think it's so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks guys for watching. This was our. I can't even turn up the music because my oh. iPad died. So oh no, where's the slide? Wait, whistle? what? Um, I just wanted to say a big thank you to our sponsors one more time. Oh, yeah. Thank you, you to... Dizzy! To, Dizzy. Uh, Kane Cartoon for sponsoring me on this last episode. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Quasi. I love you and I love the Turbos. And Dizzy and did Momenti. all of these motherfuckers oh, right here. All this Yay. all back here. I guess we could bring up some... Uh, we could bring up some Nickelback. <laughs> Look at this photograph! And I wanted to say a huge thank you to Kyle for coming on Father's Day. Oh, yeah. Right. Thank you so much, because he's the only father among us, so... Yeah. But Deegan's a father. As of yet. Wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> you did a thing? But I thought Deegan was a father. Happy Father's Day, Kyle! <laughs> Happy Father's Day to Deacon, too. Uh, Maybe people didn't know that. Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, that's oh. oh my god. That's really Did you cool. actually buy that? <laughs> Thank you. Did you buy it? Yeah. Nice. It's a little thing. That's awesome. It's gonna be a little thing. <laughs> it's gonna be a little thing. You stepped it up, you guys. Oh, it's gonna boost so much down here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, back it. Kill it. Kill it. <laughs> oh god, now I have to... <laughs> how does it... How does it... How does it... Just... 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 Swaddle. Swaddle. Deegan doesn't seem to know how this works. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Deegan's um, gonna be a daddy. Let me get some sentimental music booted up. Wait a second. How about wait? What are you're we not, like? Oh, you're not filter. Going to no, it's don't shake the baby. That's an urban legend. Don't oh, push it. Don't squeeze the head. Don't squeeze the head. Okay. Bad for baby. And shake it every day. Shake it every day. Okay. You're supposed to shake. It. <laughs> what's not too sad, but like. Yeah. You know, what's like emotional but not sad? Yeah, yeah, like something to say goodbye to. Photograph. There you go. That's pretty sad. <laughs> oh, this one there has like go. sort of sadness but adventure in it. Yeah, yeah. Let's see. I've used this one before. It's pretty sad. Filter is a fan of the show. Did you guys I'm know that? Already. I did know that. Yeah, Ben knows that. Yeah, I think I knew that. <laughs> Probably doesn't watch this anymore because he used to love he used to love our um, Minecraft shows. No, <laughs> oh. which stopped. Yeah. Cute. 
I'm so happy for you, Deacon. Congrats, Deacon. And his partner as well. Congratulations, Deacon. Thank you. She did most of the work. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, say, yeah, right. So far. Yeah, right. How much thrusting does she have to do? All right. So. <laughs> when, are, when are you guys do it? Uh, uh, end of September. <gasps> Exciting and new adventure, it's very guys. And they're gonna name the child girl or boy Hank. 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 Obviously, Hank or Priyana. Skyler. It works both ways, so. Exactly. We should segment this just so that, like, our goodbye segment. Oh yeah. Here you go, everybody.